Right, hello again. So today um, I've decided that we're going to do a little bit of meditation, um, but this time we're going to be focusing on the penile gland, so the third eye opening. Again, I can't stress this enough, I am not a guru, I am not an expert, but these things that I've been doing on and off for quite a few years. So the last one was pure relaxation and getting in touch with loved ones, opening the mind, um, trying to feel that they're there with you and using energy um, to bring those spirits forward. Okay, so today what I'm going to focus on is it's only a 10 minute meditation again, okay, but this time it is to do with working the penile gland, okay. So for anyone that struggles with meditation, again, it's going to take a long time. This is not going to happen overnight, okay? You have to keep going to see different things. Now, this meditation, I absolutely love, okay? I absolutely love it. I get sensations. I can feel the warmth on my head. Um, it helps me to relax. It puts me in um, a really mellow state, okay? So I'm not worried, it is not some crazy powerful penile gland opening, third eye opening, it's very mellow, it's very relaxed. Um, so I'm hoping you're going to enjoy this one. Um, I've got the lights relaxed, I've got them on a nice colour, okay, so I always tend to go for that purple glow, always. The indigo colour is my colour, it's the colour that I like, okay, you don't have to have that at all, you can have a dark room. Um, you can just put the light on if you don't want to be in a dark room or you can just adjust your lighting slightly and put a lamp on in the background, anything. I've also got a candle on the floor. Now if you have got a candle, it um, doesn't matter if it's a tea light candle, whatever it is, I just find that the energy from the candle helps me as well within the meditation. I don't always use one, it depends on what mood I'm in and what I'm feeling at the time. So please, be nice to me because I'm still new to actually pre-recording uh, these things, okay? So normally I do this on my own, so <laughs> this is really weird for me. But again, when I've finished, if you could please put the comments underneath. The comments from the last one were amazing, so thank you so, so much for your support. Um, they were genuinely lovely and it means the world to me. Okay, so again, I'm just going to move the camera slightly. I'm sitting down today on the floor, okay, so you can lie down or you can sit down, whatever is comfortable for you, even in an armchair, it doesn't matter, as long as you are comfortable and you can relax, that's what it's all about, okay, I'm just going to move this, okay, so there we go, so I've got my candle, I have um, a pillow on the floor as well, um, I put that there because of um, my lower back. I like to be comfortable. So, here we go. Welcome, dear soul. And thank you for being here. I'm Kenneth Suarez. And you are listening to Power Thoughts Meditation Club. In this session, we're going to balance your sixth chakra also called the brow chakra or third eye chakra. Your third eye chakra is associated with the color indigo and it is located on your forehead, a half inch up between your eyebrows. When listening to the following affirmations, sit or lie down in a quiet place and focus on your third eye or imagine the color of the chakra. Your third eye chakra holds the blueprint of your imagination, intellect, intuition, and spiritual insight and awareness. It opens up your connection to the higher spiritual dimensions. Get ready now to activate your higher mind. Now, begin by taking a few deep breaths. And imagine the year being indigo. Breathe. 
doubt that color of indigo and bring your awareness to your third eye. Bring all your focus to your third eye. Breathing in to your third eye and breathing out. Imagine a bright, vibrant, indigo spinning energy emanating from this area now. And take a few more deep breaths in through the color, making it brighter and clearer. And get a sense of this indigo ball of energy moving and spinning. Breathe into this movement, slowing it down if it's going too fast, speeding it up if it's going too slow. Imagine that you are out in nature, a place where you feel comfortable and relaxed, and allow yourself to feel good where you are. Imagine now in nature, in front of you there, further ahead, there is a column of brilliant indigo light shining down from the heavens. Imagine walking towards that indigo light now. You are safely moving closer and closer, a clear and vibrant energy emanating from that brilliant light. And the closer you get, the more you're unconscious. Mind goes deeper into the process of balancing your third eye chakra. Clear and vibrant energy emanating from that brilliant light now. Imagine stepping into that column of indigo light. That's right, that spinning ball of energy in your third eye, connecting to that brilliant indigo light, like they are one. Inhale that brilliant indigo energy now, as it begins to speak to you with love, with love and compassion and compassion. You see and think clearly. You see solutions in everything. You open yourself to know your deepest wisdom. You live in the light of your higher mind. You hear the whispers of the universe. You align your consciousness with the source of all life. You open yourself up to the deepest wisdom. You are connected to the universal wisdom. You are a unique being of joy, healing, and happiness. Your inner voice guides you and supports you. Your inner voice guides you and supports you. Your thoughts are clear and focused. Your thoughts are clear and focused upon what you choose to create in your upon life. Upon what you choose to create. It is safe now to trust your intuition. Your thoughts are clear and focused. Observe with all your senses. You know what you want out of life. I create my life through my vision. It becomes more and more clear to you now. Everything that happens in my life is for the highest good of everyone involved. You live in the light of truth. And you accept that now. You create clarity of mind. You trust in your feelings. I am using my imagination as a tool to create more of what I want in my life. I am using my imagination as a tool to create more of what I want in my life. I allow myself to flow in the gateways of higher consciousness. You create your life through your visions. 
Everything that happens in my life is for the highest good of every soul involved. I allow us, I allow us, I allow us, I choose to open up to my life purpose. I trust that my highest good and greatest joy are unfolding every minute of every day. You are connected to the universal powers and insights. You are wise, you are wise, intuitive, intuitive, and aligned with your highest good. You align your consciousness with the source of all life. I perceive every situation as an opportunity for growth and healing. I activate my higher mind. I am guided by universal intelligence. I am guided by universal intelligence to in all situations. You are a soul who experiences life through all of your senses. You create your reality with your imagination. Universal knowledge is unfolding within me. You see the world clearly through your third eyes. I open up my imagination to see the best in me. I am the source of truth and love in my life. You see through dimensions. You see the world clearly through your third eye. You sense your eye. You are here on earth to learn. You are here on earth to learn and experience. Deeper wisdom speaks through you. I am the most guides you see. You are a loving soul of the universe, here to shine your light. You live in the light of truth and accept all that is. You create clarity of mind. You are connected to the universe. You are wise, intuitive, and aligned with your highest mind. situations. Deeper wisdom speaks through you and your unconscious mind can now integrate all these positive words that I've told you while wow, this healing sounds wash over you and makes all these words become true for you now on the deepest level of your being wisdom speaks to you. Integrating into yourselves. Now.
consciousness with the source of all life. Your intuition communicates with you at all times. You are connected to the universal wisdom. You are a unique being of joy, healing, and happiness. Your thoughts are clear and focused upon what you choose to create in your life. I create the clarity of mine. You begin to truly see now. The answers to all my questions lies with I am using my imagination as a tool to create more of what I want in my life. I allow myself to flow with the gateways of higher consciousness. I am higher consciousness. Universal knowledge is unfolded within you at all times. I am connected to the universe through dimensions. You sense your higher, higher wisdom. You are here on earth to learn and experience and awaken to that awesome power within you. Your wise to it and align your highest good. I am higher consciousness. Right, okay. <laughs> so, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> it, it, it's, yeah, ooh, you go, it's a weird afterwards. Um, yeah, a little <laughs> really wobbly. <laughs> okay, so that one is, is different from the last one, obviously. Um, the only thing that you, you should really be seeing at that point is an indigo light. Um, I tend to see it at the end. And he's crossing his words over quite a lot. I mean, obviously, it's, it's, a, it's a way of getting into your mind. So it is very different. So I hope you enjoy it. I, I absolutely love that one. I feel that I, it takes me to a different level. Um, excuse me for a second. Let me just pop this back up again. Um, oh, there we go. I can talk to you now. It, it takes me to a different level. Um, makes me feel so... <sighs> away with the fairies and that is just 10 minutes of of that intenseness you know um now if people don't understand the penile glands i mean we all had it and my, my way of thinking i think i don't know if i mentioned it last time was you know when you're in the womb the womb even um <clears throat> you know your eyes are closed you you are seeing through a different part of your body um they all this is what how I feel, and this is what I've read before I even started doing this years ago, that, you know, your third eye is open then. As soon as you are born, it closes up, which then gives you the ability to look out of your own eyes and, and see the world. So it's just basically relaxing yourself enough to open it up, and it will just give you that sense of belonging, um, that sense of realising that you are part of the earth, you are part of this world. Sorry, it sounds a bit deep again. I keep doing this, don't I? Um, no, don't worry, I'm not I'm not overly religious or anything like that. You know, I'm not. Um, but I just genuinely believe in all of this. I think it can make you, gives you that 10 minutes to get out of your own mind and to become somebody else. Um, and, and that is just an amazing way as well to get in touch with your loved ones. It'll give you that extra extra bit of help for that contact i've seen loved ones actually doing um third eye opening meditation before they've came to me now again the indigo light to me is my color it's me i i always said i was an indigo child um from a very young age it was it was almost like that's what i felt that i was an indigo child so you might f connect with different colors you might see a different color but the indigo light is something that you try, try and bring forward. It's not scary. It's not going to turn you into a medium overnight. It's just going to open that gland up and give you an insight um, into the natural part of you, I should imagine. That's my way of thinking, you know, the natural way. Um, get rid of all the junk and let's just bring in that, the relaxation, the meditation. 
So once again, something a little bit different today. Um, I did have it on quite loud just so that everybody could hear him speak. You need to be able to hear him speak. So um, if it is too loud and you've got your headphones in, just turn it down so that you feel comfortable. Um, and if any ads pop up, like Joe said, I'm so sorry, but I will ask Danielle to pop this onto our YouTube channel as well so that you can watch it ad free. Okay, I'm going to pop over to subs in a little while and um, do a little mini live on there in regards to meditation as well. So if you do want to sub to our page and support us if you're not already, it would be wonderful. So from me, I'd like to say thank you so much. Thank you for your support. And I really do hope you liked it. And please be kind. See you soon. We'll see you later. See you soon. Bye.